Okay guys, let's get this over with. Hi everyone, I'm back. So let's talk about the round of 32 of the Emperor's Cup that's gonna happen tomorrow. Uh, I'm thinking about posting this video on Tuesday, so on Wednesday uh, we are gonna have the round of 32. Um, basically pretty much all the teams are still in the tournament, all the most important teams are still in the tournament, besides two J1 teams that have already been eliminated. Uh, one is Kyoto that has lost at home against Toyama J3 team and Gamba Osaka that have lost uh, in a pretty surprising fashion at home against Kochi United, a non-league team, one of the two non-league teams that is going to have a game in the round of 32 of this 2023 Emperor's Cup. Um, if I'm not wrong, I'm gonna search about this because I'm not really sure. Gamba Zaka have lost a game like a couple of years ago, something like that, against Honda, but I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure about that. Um, so yeah, he, I didn't put all the games because, I mean, um, there are many and I mean, you know how it works basically j1 teams and some j2 teams are like yeah whatever we don't put the best team because we want to focus on the league uh i mean we may see great like the the top 11 in the semi-finals in the final but not before that um but anyway still interesting um I put here the two non-league teams that are gonna appear. One is Oita, not Trinita, Vespa. Vespa Oita have beaten Oita Trinita in the Oita Derby, absolutely amazing. And uh, so Vespa Oita, the non-league team, have beaten the uh, Oita Trinita, J2 team, um, last year or two years ago, if I'm not wrong. They were in J1. So they're gonna play in uh, Sapporo against Hokkaido Consadore Sapporo and Coach United that have beaten Gambo Zak in the round of 64 are gonna play at home against Yokohama FC and that's an upset. That's um, I'm gonna actually put like potential upset. I'm gonna say upset here. Upset. Uh, I'm seeing Coach United beating Yokohama FC. Why? Because Yokohama FC it's not just about the cup that they don't really care because they're in J1 that they are fighting against relegation so they are really focused on J1 they're playing uh, an away game on Wednesday uh, against a coach United that is a surprise they have beaten Gambozaka they want to surprise everyone so I'm seeing them uh, I'm seeing Kochi United pulling the upset here and beating Yokohama FC. Um, I, I, I mean, and for Oita, Vespa Oita, it's very difficult, it's long. Um, it's, it's always like difficult to go to Sapporo and especially like there is this big, huge difference. I mean, I'm, I'm not seeing it, but you never know. Other games to watch? Uh, of course, the Tokyo Derby, that's always super interesting. Um, I mean, Tokyo Verdi um, always want to like upset FC Tokyo, um, so we see about that. I see um, like the teams that are gonna be on the on the pitch. Kashima Antlers versus Con went for it. Kofu, Kofu want to um, like confirm that last year they were the surprise, so they want to confirm what they did this last year, winning the cup. They're the defending champions. Difficult, never know. And the Toyama versus Albrex Nigata. Toyama have pulled up set against Kyoto Sanga. They're playing at home against Albrex Nigata. That as well, like Yokohama FC, they're focused on the on the on the league, and they're not like such a difficult situation like Yokohama FC for the relegation. But still, they're playing away at Toyama, and I'm seeing here an upset as well. I'm going to write here. I think I'm upset. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I mean, we are still in a in pretty early stages of the cup, and we are gonna see if if, if 
like we are gonna have no league teams in the round of 16 if Toyama is gonna keep going and what if Kofu still is gonna still uh, keep his defending battle open and that's pretty much it thank you for watching and see you next time